The Medela Advanced Personal Double Breast Pump includes everything you need to pump, all in a convenient shoulder bag. The Advanced Personal Double Breast Pump is a single user product. Used by more than one person may pose a health risk and performance questions and voids the warranty. Before you begin, identify all the parts you will need for assembly. The pump includes four bottles with lids, two bottle stands, two valves, two membranes, two sets of personal fit breast shields, two breast shield connectors, tubing, a power adapter, three ice packs, and a manual pump. To assemble and use the manual pump, see the instructions that came with your pump for details. A battery pack is available in some models. Before assembling your advanced personal double breast pump for the first time, separate, wash and boil all the parts that come into contact with the breast and breast milk. Breast shields, connectors, valves, membranes, bottles and lids. Be sure to remove the yellow valves from the breast shield connectors and separate the white membranes from the yellow valves. Inspect the white membranes for holes, tears or warping and check the yellow valves for cracks or chips. Any damage to these parts could compromise suction and the performance of your pump. If you notice any damage to any of these parts, replace them immediately. Rinse all parts in warm water, hand wash with warm soapy water, and rinse with cold clear water. Then you must sanitize by placing parts in boiling water and boiling the parts for 10 minutes. Allow the water to cool and gently remove parts from the water with tongs. Place the parts on a clean surface or towel to air dry. Store dry parts when not in use and do not store wet or damp parts. Begin by securely attaching the breast shields to the connectors. Then, attach the white membranes to the yellow valves. The white membrane must lie flat against the yellow valve. Push the assembled yellow valves and white membranes into the breast shield connectors and screw the bottles onto the bottom of the breast shield connectors. Insert the hard yellow adapter ends of the tubing into the openings in the back of the breast shield connectors. Insert the other ends of the tubing into the ports on the faceplate of the pump. If you are single pumping, place the port cap onto the unused port on the faceplate. If you are double pumping, push the port cap onto the post at the bottom of the faceplate. Plug the metal fitting on the end of the Medela power source into the power jack on the breast pump. When you are using the AC power adapter, plug it into a standard electrical outlet. It is important to have properly fitting breast shields for comfort and efficient milk expression. Your breast pump comes with two different breast shield sizes. Medela also offers additional sizes of personal fit breast shields sold separately. For help with choosing the right size breast shield, consult a healthcare professional or breastfeeding specialist. Or visit medela.com for more information. Center the breast shield over the nipple. Do not push the breast shields too firmly on the breast as it may affect milk flow. To begin pumping, turn the dial clockwise from the off position. The pump will start in the stimulation phase, which is a fast pumping rhythm to get your milk flow started. Adjust the speed and vacuum while pumping by turning the dial to a level that is most comfortable for you. After two minutes, the stimulation phase will automatically change to the expression phase, which is a slower pumping rhythm to gently and efficiently express your breast milk. If you let down, this is when your milk starts to flow. Sooner than two minutes, you may pump more efficiently by pressing the let down button at that time to switch to the expression phase. If let down does not happen after two consecutive stimulation phases, take a break relax and try again in 10 to 15 minutes. Once in the expression phase, set your maximum comfort vacuum. This is the highest vacuum you can use and still feel comfortable. To find your maximum comfort vacuum during the expression phase, increase speed and vacuum by turning the dial until pumping feels slightly uncomfortable but not painful. 
and then decrease the vacuum slightly. Remember, do not tilt or overfill the bottles while pumping, and be careful not to kink the tubing while pumping. Once you are finished pumping, unplug the tubing from the back of the breast shield connector before removing the bottles from the connectors. Let the pump run with only the tubing attached while you store your breast milk. This will allow any condensation that may have formed in the tubing to dry. Then, turn off the pump. To remove the tubing, pull the tubing straight out of the tubing ports. Do not wiggle or pull the tubing at an angle. After each pump session, store your breast milk. Then disassemble and separate all parts that come in contact with breast milk. Rinse the parts in cool water to remove breast milk residue. Then, using a mild dish detergent, fill the sink with warm soapy water. Allow the parts to soak for five minutes. Wash all separated parts with a clean dishcloth or a soft brush and rinse in cold, clear water. Allow the parts to air dry in a clean area and store dry parts when not in use. In addition to washing, you can boil parts or use Medela's Quick Clean Micro Steam Bags for daily breast pump kit sanitizing. Use a clean, damp cloth to wipe the faceplate of the breast pump after each use. Tubing does not need to be washed after each use unless dirty but you should inspect tubing after each use for condensation or milk. Common causes for milk in tubing are heavy letdown, leaning forward or lying down while pumping, improper cleaning of valves and membranes, damaged membrane, or overfilling bottles while pumping. If milk gets into the tubing, turn off the pump and unplug the transformer from the unit and wall outlet. Remove the tubing from the pump and breast shield connectors. Rinse the tubing in cold, clear water and wash in warm, soapy water. Then rinse the tubing in cold, clear water and hang to air dry. Then detach the faceplate using the thumb tab on the right side. If there is any liquid behind the faceplate, wash the faceplate in warm, soapy water and rinse in cold, clear water. Use a damp, clean cloth to wipe the pump diaphragm. Let the faceplate and diaphragm dry completely. Reattach the faceplate by holding the back of the pump with one hand and pushing on the faceplate until it snaps into place. The faceplate needs to snap securely at all three connection points to ensure adequate vacuum and optimum pump performance. Use a damp, not wet, cloth to wipe the bag when necessary. Do not immerse the motor unit or any part of the pump bag in water. It is important that you use only the power adapter that came with your pump. For safe maintenance, proper storage and handling of the power adapter and cord, follow these instructions. Do not wrap the cord of the power adapter around the plug body. Do not unplug the power adapter by pulling on the cord. Always inspect the power adapter cord prior to use for any damage such as kinks, twists, bulges, and exposed or frayed wires. Should your power adapter or power adapter cord show signs of damage, discontinue use and contact Medela customer service for a replacement. Remember, breast milk is the most complete form of nutrition for your baby. Proper assembly, use and cleaning of the Medela Advanced Double Breast Pump and following breast milk storage and handling guidelines will help ensure your baby receives clean and safe breast milk. Consult with your healthcare professional for breastfeeding support or assistance. Visit shopmedela.com to order replacement parts. If you need assistance with assembly of your Advanced Personal Double Breast Pump, Call Medela Customer Service at 1-800-435-8316 or visit our website and fill out the Contact Us form so we can help.